Ladies and gentlemen, Colgate Dental Cream presents the Dennis Day Show, written by Frank Galen, with Paula Winslow, Dink Trout, John Brown, Charles Dant of the orchestra, yours truly, Vern Smith, and starring our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Twice a day and before every date, use Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Here's Dennis to sing one of Harry Lauder's famous songs, The Wick Wag Wiggle of the Kilt. I'll never forget the day I went and joined the 93rd. The chums I used to run with said they thought I looked absurd. They saluted me and gathered around me in a ring. And as they wagged me tar to kill, they all began to sing. He's a papa, he'll a laddie, brave, a jock brigade. There's not another soldier like him in the Scotch Brigade. Real among the heather, you can see he's Scottish built. By the wig, wig, wiggle, wiggle, waggle o' the kilt. Oh, I'm telling you, lads and lassies, there's nothing like the skull of the bagpipes and the wiggle of the kilt. Oh, I'll never forget the day we were ordered on review. The king came down to see us, and the queen was we in two. As I marched by the royal coach, the king just shook his head. The queen put on a royal specs and looked at me and said, He's a pro, pro, Highland laddie, a private jock with me. There's not another soldier like him in the Scotch Brigade. Reared among the heather, you can see he's Scottish built by the wig, wig, wiggle, wiggle, waggle of the kilt. Oh dear, dear, he's too utterly, utterly, utterly. <laughs> He's a bra bra, heel and laddie, brave a jock brigade. There's not another soldier like him in the Scotch brigade. Reared among the heather, you can see he's Scottish built. By the wig, wig, wiggle, wiggle, waggle o' the kilt. By the wig, wag, wig, wag, wag. Wiggly, waggle, wiggle o' the kilt. Hoot, man! Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning your teeth than Colgate Dental Cream. For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly, brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. And scientific tests prove that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Yes, actual scientific tests prove conclusively that in 7 out of 10 cases... Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So try Colgate Dental Cream to bring out the natural sparkle and beauty of your teeth for a wake-up flavor you'll thoroughly enjoy. And use Colgate Dental Cream twice a day and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Well, it's the dead of night now as we look in on the little town of Weaverville, nearly 10 p.m., and our young hero, Dennis Day, is walking home from a movie with his girlfriend, Mildred Anderson. The picture they've just seen has evidently affected Mildred a great deal, for only now, as they near the Anderson boarding house, does she break the silence she's maintained since they left the theater. You know something, Dennis? I've been thinking. I know, Mildred. I've been watching you and admiring. <laughs> 
it's that picture we just saw, the best years of our lives. Why, that could be the story of us, Dennis, of your life and mine. It could? Oh, isn't the problem Dana Andrews had the same as yours? Didn't he come home from the war and have to take a job as a soda jerk just like you? Yeah, but he can always earn $3,000 a week on the side as an actor. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't what I mean, Dennis. Look at his marriage. His marriage? During the war, he got married in haste to a beautiful blonde with a gorgeous figure. When he came back and found out she wasn't his type mentally, he walked out on her. I know. Lots of things happen in the movies that don't happen in real life. <laughs> but that's just it, Dennis. Unhappy marriages happen every day in real life. One of us could turn out to be exactly like that beautiful blonde in the picture. Oh, I could never make it. <laughs> Dennis, I'm trying to get across a point. Oh. After Dana Andrews was married, he fell in love with Frederick March's daughter. The same thing might happen to you. How could it? I don't even know Frederick March's daughter. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, you might meet someone you like better than me after it's too late. Oh, never. Well, how do you know? Look, tonight as we sat watching that movie, you held my hand, didn't you? I couldn't help it. Your perfume inflamed me. <laughs> All right But have you ever sat in a darkened theater balcony with anyone else? Sure And did you hold hands then? No Why not? He was a fella <laughs> Dennis, tell me the truth How many girls have you ever gone out with? You mean all together, counting you? Yes One <laughs> There, you see That's the point I've been trying to make you can't be sure you're really, truly in love with me because you've never had an opportunity to test your love. But I don't have to test it. I'm sure of it. You can't be until you take out other girls, too. Well, I don't want to take out other girls, too, Mildred. It wouldn't be fair to you. Well, why not? Well, gee, you've got enough expenses now. <laughs> well, it might be worth it to make certain. No, Mildred. Other girls don't interest me in any way. I don't interest them. Are you sure? Have you ever tried to meet another girl? Well, I, uh, I once dropped my handkerchief in front of one on the street. <laughs> well, what happened? She picked it up and blew my nose. <laughs> oh. I guess I'm just not easy to love. Other girls don't know you like I do, Dennis. Someday that wonderful personality that's deep down inside of you will come bursting out and every woman in town will fight to get you. Gee, I hope you'll hide me till I get it back inside again. <laughs> I will. Well, here we are at the house. Yes. Uh, maybe we better say good night out here, Dennis. The folks are sleeping. All right. Mildred, I uh, that that perfume you're wearing, it's it's Mildred, could I I mean, would you? Yes, Dennis. Would you shake hands good night with me? <laughs> yes, Dennis. Good night. Good night, Mildred. Chum. <laughs> Good morning, Willoughby's Drugstore Oh, yes, Mrs. Willoughby Huh? No, he isn't in yet Oh, yes, ma'am I'll have him call you the minute he gets here Yes, ma'am Goodbye Morning, Dennis Morning, Mr. Willoughby Your wife just... Say, how come you're wearing hip boots and fishing clothes and got those two poles on your shoulder? Guess. <laughs> you're going fishing? Good boy. <laughs> Very first try. Oh, I, anyone could have done it. Your wife wants you to call her right away, Mr. Willoughby. She says it's very important. I kind of thought she'd be calling. That's why I'm going fishing. And I've already left, Dennis. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Trouble on the home front? Plenty. My lodge had a banquet and meeting last night. The bald eagles, nest 53. <laughs> and I got home at 4 a.m. My wife didn't care particularly for the way I walked through our front door. No? No. Oh. She thinks I should have opened it first. Gosh. And that isn't all. Imagine what she'll say when she learns that we had a line of chorus girls to entertain us at the party. Women, Dennis. Yeah, I know. Chorus girls always are. <laughs> You're so right. 
And if memory serves, I, I got rather friendly with one of the dear creatures in a, a perfectly harmless way, of course. Oh, your wife wouldn't mind that. The average woman wants her man to test his love for her. Oh, really? Well, my wife happens to be well below average. <laughs> I guess I'm luckier than you that way. Undoubtedly. Now, if you'll run to the back of the store and make me up a few liverwurst sandwiches to take along, I'll be on my way. Yes, sir. I'll have them right away for you, Mr. Willoughby. Oh, my head. Why do I do these things? Hello, little bald eagle. Eep! <laughs> Remember me from last night? Little old Dixie with the cute little Trixie? We, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, indeed. How are you, friend? Friend? That isn't what you called me last night. All right. Snuggle poo. <laughs> better. Remember you told me to look you up sometime? Well, here I am. Oh, did I say that? Uh-huh. A friend of mine stabbed a picture at the party last night. I thought you might like to see it. Or, uh, perhaps your wife would. A uh, picture? A group picture. Mm -hmm. Just you and me, sugar. Why, that's a small group, isn't it? <laughs> well, we... Close together? I was sitting on your lap. That's fairly close together. <laughs> Isn't it? It's such a nice picture, I want you to have it. That is... If uh, I pay for it. Oh, you're a quick one. And after all, what's $50 to a man like you? Fifty? Owning a big drugstore and all No, that. no, no, wait a minute. I, 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 I lied to you. I, I, I don't own the store at all. Huh? And I, I just work here. The, the real boss is... Say, if I put you next to a real sucker... Uh, will you give me that picture? Who is he? The head of the whole drug chain. Why, 50 bucks is dirt with a guy like that. He's good for thousands. His name is Dennis Day. <laughs> and he's right here in the store now. Oh, a big tycoon, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now, give me the picture. Uh, well, okay. Uh, but this guy better be all you say, sugar. Oh, he is, he is. Only, don't be surprised if he seems a little puzzled or bewildered at first. He, he puts on a dopey act to fool people. <laughs> oh, that's okay, honey. I prefer him dopey. I picked you out, didn't I? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I... Oh, oh, I hear him coming. I better get out of here. Hey, good luck. Here's your sandwiches all ready for you, Mr. Why, where's Mr. Willoughby? Who cares when there's a great, big, gorgeous hunk of stuff like you around? Love bundle. Who? Me? <laughs> mm, are you a dreamboat? Come here, you beautiful stick of dynamite. Who? Me? <laughs> I'll say you really send me dream man. Who? Why? <laughs> Oh, now, beautiful. Is that all you can say to a girl? You can be nice. Come on, try. Would you care for a liverwurst sandwich? <laughs> Baby, can't you see this thing is too big for either of us? You're not going to fight it, are you? I don't know. Am I mad at it? <laughs> Don't you know what's happened? I think I do. My personality's burst out. I'll say it has. I was warned that someday it would. You desire me, huh? <laughs> I can't live without you, gorgeous. But I love another. At least I think I do. Say, this may be my chance to find out. Would you care to take part in a very interesting scientific test? Well, if it's with you, yes. I want you for my own darling for always and always. Be careful. This may be mere infatuation on your part, although I doubt it. <laughs> no. It's the real thing. I know it is. What do you feel for me, dearest? Amazement. <laughs> is that all? I'm not so hard to take, Dreamboat. Look me over carefully. You are kind of pretty. How about my figure, lover boy? It's quite female. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, what's this 
test you're talking about. Well, could you be at the Anderson boarding house around eight tonight? We'll spend the evening just the way Mildred and I always do, listening to the radio. I'll know after that whether I love you or her. Is that all you and this Mildred do when you're home alone? I'm listening to the radio. Sure. When her folks are out, we can turn on any, any program we want to. Well, I uh, thought you and I might do something a little more exciting tonight, like playing games. Okay, I'll have the Parcheesi board all set up. <laughs> well, it's a date. A and now can I use your phone, sweet stuff? Oh, sure. There's one in the back of the store. Mm, thanks. I'll find it. Hello. Sam, this is Dixie. Listen, I got the prize sucker of all time. Willoughby? Better. A rich kid that's never been kissed or taken. Tonight he gets both. <laughs> We pull the old badgy game, huh? Right. I'll have in my arms at the Anderson boarding house on Elm. At 8.25, you rush in as the angry husband. We'll shake him down for every cent he's got. <laughs> great, kid, great. I'll be there at 8.25 and a dot. Bye-bye. Did you get your party okay? Oh, yes. I told my old gray-haired mother I'd be home a little late. Well, <laughs> till tonight, brown eyes, you and I. All alone. Gee, say, I don't even know your name. It's Dixie, honey. And after tonight, you'll remember it for a long, long time. <laughs> Good night, you beautiful hunk of... Gosh, Mildred may be right. These may be the best years of my life. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Mrs. Willoughby? No, ma'am. He left for the mountains ten, year, ten minutes ago. <laughs> ma'am? No, he left for the mountains ten minutes ago to go fishing, and he hasn't come back yet. What? Ooh, what you said. Huh? Oh, in case he calls, you'll be at Mrs. Anderson's house? Okay, Mrs. Willoughby, I'll tell him. Bye, Mrs. Willoughby. Gee, was she mad. I'm going to wash out my ears with soap. <laughs> Husband? Why, Grace Willoughby, what on earth do you want with Herbert? Remember the Bon Ton department store contest? Yes. Well, a refrigerator was the prize for the best 25 words from a husband and wife on why I shop at the Bon Ton. Well, I won. They notified me this morning. Oh, how wonderful. What did you send in? Well, I couldn't seem to think of anything brilliant, so I just wrote, if we win, we will pay our bill. They seem to like it. <laughs> well... What's Herbert got to do with all this? Well, the Bon Ton wants a picture of the winning husband and wife. No picture, no refrigerator. And where's my husband? Off fishing. Well, can't they wait till he gets home? The photographer's coming tonight so they can get out the publicity tomorrow. That's why I need Herbert. But everyone at the Bon Ton knows Herbert, and they'll... Wait a minute. How about Dennis Day? Dennis Day? Who'd believe I'm married to him? <laughs> Besides, he'd blab it all over town. Well, don't tell him what the picture's for. Flatter him into having it taken with you. Flatter him? Yes. You stay to dinner and tell the photographer to come over here right afterwards. And if he walks in and finds Dennis with his arms around you, he'll believe you two are married. Well, I'll try it, but it's an awful thing to go through just to keep food cold. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, would you say I have a lure? A lure, Dennis? <laughs> yes, for one of the opposite sex. For instance, say a woman. Well, you do look rather ravishing in your new Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. <laughs> Why do you ask? Well, last night, Mildred told me other women would go for me, and today, in the store, one did. And tonight at dinner, Mrs. Willoughby kept staring at me so strangely. Maybe there's something irresistible about the way you chew. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Oh, no. Well, what then? I'm afraid I'm a femme fatale. Well, <laughs> I doubt if you're the type, Dennis. However, oh, I... Oh, there you are, Dennis. Herbert, we'll go upstairs. I believe Mrs. Willoughby wants to be alone with Dennis. See, Mr. Anderson, you better stay. You're right, Dennis. I'm staying. Herbert? So long, Dennis. I'm leaving. <laughs> Come along, Herbert. Uh, lead the way, oh, dream eternal. <laughs> 
here we are, all alone. I guess you know that I like you a great deal, Dennis. Well, here we go again. <laughs> oh, but I do. But you shouldn't, Mrs. Willoughby. You've got to fight it. Fight it? You're a married woman. You promised to love, honor, and cherish Mr. Willoughby. Start cherishing. Oh. <laughs> Why, Dennis, you seem to be under a false impression. I don't feel about you in that way at all. You mean you're not in love with me? No. Is that possible? <laughs> it is. I think of you only as a, as a very dear friend. Well, what do you know? And I hoped you felt the same way toward me, Dennis, because uh, there's a little favor you could do for me, if you would. Oh, sure, gladly. Well, I want to have our pictures snapped together for sentimental reasons. Okay, you get a picture of you, and I'll get one of me, and we'll snap them together. <laughs> I, I mean, I'd like a picture of the two of us taken together. Oh, well, I guess that can be arranged. Oh, good. You have no idea how worried... Oh, someone at the door. I better no, go... No, and... don't get up. I know who it is. It's someone I've been expecting. Put your arms around me, quick. Huh? I said, put your arms around me. Mrs. Willoughby, I'm getting that false impression again. <laughs> Dennis, will you stop arguing and kiss me? Kiss you? Yes. Put your lips to mine and yell, come in. <laughs> it won't come out very clear. Oh. Oh, well, for goodness sakes. All right, I'll answer it. Hello, I'm from the Bonton department store. Uh, Mrs. Willoughby told me to come to this address and take a picture, is that right? Yes. <laughs> yes. My husband's in the next room. Will you follow me, please? Dennis, uh, this gentleman is a photographer. Boy, you sure are a woman of action. Well, I'm ready. You, huh? I thought you'd be a much older man. Me? Oh, no, I've never been any older than this. <laughs> Would you make this just as fast as you can, please? We haven't got much time. Yes, ma'am, I'm all set. Put your arms around her, sir, and hold her as close as possible. But isn't that kind of intimate? Sure, that's the idea. But suppose my girlfriend sees it. What'll she think? Well, Dennis, we won't worry about that. Say, you're really broad-minded, lady. <laughs> please, let's just get on with the picture. We don't have very much... Oh, Come in. Dennis, darling. Dixie. A am I late? Who's she? Another girlfriend of mine, a different one. Why ain't my family like this? <laughs> Dream boy, let's get rid of all these characters and listen to that radio. Well, I like that. Who's this old moose, gorgeous? <laughs> Dixie, please, this old moose happens to be my boss's wife. Well, just take me in your arms, honey. And tell her to beat it. Why, how dare you? I need Dennis, and I want him. He's mine. I saw him first. You did no such thing. I've known him for months. Well, I won't give him up. Gee, I'll never go out in public again without a mask on. <laughs> Dennis, tell this woman that you're mine. Dennis, tell her you're mine. I belong to all women, everywhere. <laughs> what would a sweet, intelligent boy like this want with a woman like you, anyway? All I know is he's gorgeous, and I want him. Well, he's much too fine a person to be fought over like this. Yeah, I'm too fine a... You shut up! <laughs> Excuse me. That's kind of interesting, you know? Give this boy up and that's final Nor will I I mean every word of it What is all this noise I've been hearing? Dennis Day, come here I'm sorry, Mrs. Anderson But you'll have to wait your turn <laughs> What? Well, I have Dennis Mildred Hey, bud, you're gonna get in trouble You got a monopoly here. <laughs> Why, what does all this mean, Dennis? Mildred, it isn't my fault, honest I've inflamed the mad desires of two women And they can't control themselves Dennis, you mean you... We should have sold tickets. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it must be Sam. Aha, you homewrecker. So I find you in a lonely rendezvous with... With... With two men and four women? <laughs> no, you, Sam, we're out of luck. Let's get out of here. Well, I'll say, come on. I'm leaving, too. I should figure who's married to who in this setup. <laughs> Well, there goes my refrigerator, thanks to Dennis Day. Me? Mrs. Willoughby, what are I you... I shall speak to my husband about you, young man. Good night. Mrs. Anderson, what did she... Don't bother me. I'm going to bed. 
Mildred, what are they Two all... Two women? Oh, you beast, you cat. I never want to see you again. Mildred, I... Oh, gosh. Well, I might as well go to bed, too. In fact, there's nothing else I can do. I think my personality went in again. <laughs> Dennis Day will be back in just a moment with a song, but first, here's a fact worth knowing. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And that's important, as our Colgate players are going to demonstrate for you. Our curtain goes up on a young man who has just had a door slammed in his face and who is now getting similar rough treatment from none other than Dan Cupid. Well, no use hanging around a door that's been slammed in your face, bud. No use me hanging around either. Oh, wait a sec, Dan. Give me the pitch. Your girl gave you that when she slammed the door in your face, pal. In the language of love, bud, she said scram. But how come both you and Mary dropped me like a hot potato? Come on, Cupid, give. Okay, careless, here it is. Your girl's gone and I'm going. Because you ought to have a serious talk with your dentist. And here's what Bud found out. Scientific tests have proved that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. What's more, Colgate Dental Cream's safe polishing agent brings out the natural sparkle of your teeth, cleans them thoroughly and safely. Yes, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. In fact, nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So to clean your teeth thoroughly and safely, for a wake-up flavor everyone enjoys, use Colgate Dental Cream. Remember, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Here's Dennis Day with Charles Dant in the orchestra to sing Life Can Be Beautiful. Life can be beautiful How do I know It's new, it's amazingly different. Not a liquid, not a soap, but an utterly new cream shampoo that leaves hair soft, radiant, glamorous, and also easy to manage. It's Luster Cream Shampoo created by Kay Dumit, who combined rich lanolin with secret ingredients. Use Luster Cream Shampoo and see how soft, how naturally lovely, how brilliantly alive and well-behaved your hair can be. Ask for Luster Cream Shampoo at cosmetic counters. This is Vern Smith speaking and reminding you ladies to keep on saving cooking fats and oils. Use and reuse them as often as you can, and when they're no longer usable, save them in tin cans and turn them into your dealer. He'll pay you more for your used fats. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.